lucky to be yours This is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel, and this is going to have two um, beginnings to it because I forgot to do this one, and so I've already got the other one, and I've already gone too far into it to do the beginning. So I'm starting it over, and right here, I mean, I'm just going to do the beginning here. Um, my name is Debbie. I'm with the uh, Food Prepping Channel. And this is a collaboration that is hosted by Desiree of Mama Friendly Channel, M-O-M-M-A-F-R-I-E-N-D-L-Y, Mama Friendly Channel. She is the one that is hosting this. It is a crock pot, um, anything. You can put whatever you want in the crock pot. It's a crock pot meal, dessert, whatever you want. I am doing a meal that I think is going to be amazing. I haven't done this before, but, um, but anyway, I have got, um, smoked sausage in the bottom, a head of cabbage in the middle. I've got some little potatoes up here. And believe it or not, right now, I'm putting some Granny Smith apples in here. So we're going to see how that goes. But let me tell you about the uh, Desiree of Mama Friendly. Desiree has an autistic child. And I have watched, she did one, um, one of her videos was a lesson for her child. And it was on, she did Di Disney. And I don't have any autistic children. I never had, a, and thank goodness I didn't, don't have any grandchildren because I don't know, you know, I think it would be very, very hard for a mama to deal with that. But you got to do what you got to do. And, and Desiree is amazing. If I did have a child that was autistic, I would want my child to be, to have a teacher like Desiree. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't have the patience to do that, but she could. And she is just amazing. She's funny. She has some great cooking um, videos on there. She's just a wonderful person. I, I just think she's amazing. So anyway, I'm in this collaboration with a... Um, a bunch of other women in here. The um, playlist will be down below along with um, Desiree's channel itself. Please go and look at the um, playlist and see what the other women have done. It's not only mine. It is, you know, it's everybody's. And um, so... I hope you can do that, and let me get back to my dinner, and I'm sorry that this is, it's going to start up right now with, hi, this is Debbie. <laughs> it's going, right after I, I do this, it's going to start with the other one. So, all right, y'all, I will see you sometime. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Um, okay, today I am going to do a crock pot item dish whatever um i don't think it would be a full uh, meal or whatever in the crock pot so you're gonna have to have something else i don't know i might put something else in there that would make it kind of a full meal but i've just got to see first all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i have two packs of this this um butter ball turkey sausage hardwood smoked um 63% less fat. I have never had this before. I've never had turkey sausage. I am going to fry it first in my frying pan here that I have put some let's see. I've got some new olive oil and this is Bertoli cooking olive oil because you're really not supposed to use olive oil for 
extra virgin olive oil for cooking because the smoking point on it is real low. But this one has a high um, temperature smoking point, which is, you know, pretty good. So this is the one that I got. It's the um, uh, da, da, one quart, one pint, 2.7 ounces. Um, and it's Bertoli cooking olive oil. All right, so I put about... Let me look. Uh, two tablespoons of the cooking oil in there. And then I've got these um, sausages that I'm going to cut up and put these in here. And I just, I usually just cut them into rings like this. I don't really go fast or anything. I just kind of look at them and see. <laughs> where I want to put the two together and cut them up like this and sometimes I get them the same size and sometimes I don't and sometimes I get them too big and sometimes I get them too little but then I'm just going to put whoops I thought I was I thought it was getting ready to all right I've got my I don't know if y'all can see I've got my new wave on 275 degrees and this is my um, precision induction cooktop. If you don't have one of these, you definitely need to get one if you do a, if you're older and <laughs> you need something to, um, to cook on that is easier for you to sit down and cook on instead of, you know, standing up. I'm in a wheelchair, so I can't stand up, but if you're in a wheelchair, this works, would work perfect for you. But I've had my new way forever, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way. They did send me on a trip to New York in 2015, and I did an infomercial with Montel Williams, and that, you know, after I, I haven't done anything with them since then or whatever. So, but I do, do, do love my new wave. And so I cook on it majority of the time in here well I don't cook on my stove at all in the kitchen unless somebody's here like this weekend coming up weekend my youngest daughter and my other three grandchildren are coming and we're going to have a shrimp bowl a low was it low something shrimp bowl we're going to have crab legs and shrimp and oh I cannot wait but we're doing a lot of stuff then and she'll have to uh, we'll put that in a big, big pot and she'll cook it in there on the stove in there, but I can't. Okay, so I'm going to fry these up. Y'all see I've got them all cut up. Um, so I'm going to fry these up and then I'll bring you back and then show you the next thing that we're going to do. Okay, y'all. All right, so you can see that the hot dogs are frying up in this pan. Here's my crock pot. I've got it on hot. I've got some chicken broth here that from where I cooked chicken the other day. Uh, the top off. Well, it looks like it's sealed. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pour some of this in here. <laughs> Maybe I'll pour all of it, yeah. Alright, so this is a pint and a half. Um, and I poured that in here of the chicken broth. You can see in there. All right, and then these are almost done. So I'm going to put these in here first because I don't want these to cook anymore. You know, they're going to cook, of course, but I don't want them to cook. If you put them on top, that's how you're supposed to cook meat. If you put them on the bottom, I'm just doing it kind of to keep them warm. So, all right, so I'm going to go on and I'm going to put these in here. If I can lift it. All right. All right, so they're in there. I've got it on high right now, just heating up. I've got a head of cabbage 
over here that I've got to cut up and put in there and that's what this is going to be and depending on um, whether I can get the cabbage pushed down in here if I can do that I'm going to put some potatoes in here and then you'd have potatoes cabbage and um, turkey sausage and that would be a full meal unless you wanted to do some fruit I like applesauce applesauce is one of my favorite um, things to eat with the meal or whatever and so you could have that with it as well but I think the potatoes the cabbage and the smoked sausage would be just fine if you didn't have a fruit or whatever to go with it all right so let me cut up this um, cabbage and put it in here and I'll bring you back Okay, y'all. Um, all right, so I'm getting ready to put the rest of the cabbage in here. And I do think once this cooks down, I think I'll be able to get some potatoes in here. I've got some of those little bitty potatoes. And I'm going to put those in here and let them cook with this. And I've got some, um, whoops, wow. I've got some spices and stuff that I'm going to put in here. The first thing, let me move this over so I'm, Okay. Let me get this out of here. All right. The first thing I'm going to put in here is just a little bit. I'm going to shake some chicken bouillon powder um, on here. Even though I've got chicken... Um, broth in there I still want a little bit more of that and then I'm going to put of course my favorite now <laughs> wood fired wood fired um, garlic Kinder's wood fired garlic oh my gosh it's so good so good so good all right so let me open this and pour some of this in here Whoops, <laughs> may have gotten too much in there. Um, that's probably two tablespoons, and I think that's too much. Um, then I'm going to put some... Uh, now, that's the sixth pepper. All right, let me get this other one. Oh, shoot. Hold on, somebody's going crazy, so i got to see who it is. Okay, I'm sorry. It was... Michelle, she's, her car's run out of power steering fluid or something, so she's at O'Reilly's getting some. I may have put too much of that um, wood-fired garlic in there. Uh, I don't know. All right, I have got, um, see, that's wood-fired garlic, but it doesn't really have the garlic taste. I'm going to put six tones six peppers in there let's see it says a zesty blend of black and white pepper bell and chili peppers give a little kick to chicken shrimp burgers and steak um well i'm gonna give a little kick to some cabbage and smoked sausage <laughs> all right that's about a teaspoon of that so about no, it's about a tablespoon, I'm sorry. Um, so about a tablespoon of the chicken um, broth stuff. I can't even think of what it is now. Then about a table, two tablespoons, which I didn't mean to do, of the wood-fired garlic. And then about a tablespoon of six pepper, toned six pepper. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. This is rosemary garlic. About a teaspoon of that. And then I'm going to put some granulated onion in here. And that's going to be about two tablespoons of that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go and get my little potatoes. 
and put them in here because I think I can put them in here because I think this cabbage is going to cook down and I'm going to go and get um, that. I got to put some salt in here once I put those in here. So I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. <laughs> this is going to sound different probably to some of you, but I have got some Granny Smith apples here. And a long time ago, I fixed, I don't know where I got the recipe from, but I fixed pork chops, um, cabbage, and apples. Well, this time, I'm going to fix smoked sausage, cabbage, apples, potatoes. And I'm going to see, I think this is going to be amazing. And, um... I will bring you back. Okay, y'all. All right, so here's the apples back here. I added a few more potatoes right here. These are the medley potatoes, the small little medley potatoes, and these are purple uh, potatoes. I can't wait to, to see them. I think they're going to be so cool. All right, so I'm going to put... Um, um, this is a this is an example of what I've always tried to tell y'all. Remember how you put salt on things to bring out the sweetness, and you put sweet stuff on salty to bring out the salty or whatever it is. All right, I'm getting ready to put some salt on these apples, and these apples are going to be amazing with salt. I know that in growing up or whatever that y'all have had salt on your apples. So, that's what I'm, and then I'm going to put pepper on them too. I think I need to get my other pepper shaker. I can't stand here and shake my arm off <laughs> for this. Um, Alright, so I'm going to put, I put about a teaspoon of salt in here, and I'm going to put about a teaspoon of pepper as well um, okay now I'm gonna I gotta try to stir this up and see make sure that this doesn't stick all right it's on high now I'm cutting it down on low and it's on four hours I'm gonna take it up to six I'm going to put the lid on here and I have to go to the ear doctor because I'm losing my hearing real bad so I'm going to the ear doctor and I will um, bring y'all back after a while and we're gonna see what this all uh, this tastes like together the smoked sausage the cabbage, let's see, there's smoked sausage in the bottom, cabbage in the middle, potatoes and apples on the top. And um, different kinds of spices and seasonings or whatever you want to say. All right, so I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I wanted to bring you uh, along and show you. I just got home. It's been five hours. These have been in the crock pot. Uh, on low for five hours. I have six hours is what I wanted them to do. My potatoes have not cooked in the least. The apples are cooked. Looks like the cabbage may be cooked. And I, well, we know that the sausage um, down in the bottom was already cooked when I started this. But my potatoes are not cooked. Yeah, they're not even starting to cook. So, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm not even going to worry about it because we went and ate Mexican. So, um, I will bring y'all along later on. Like I said, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I wasn't planning on doing anything with these until 6, but now it may be 7 or 8 before the potatoes are done. So I will bring you back. It, my house smells really good. And um, I will bring you back, and we will um, 
check on these after a while. Okay, y'all. I found this at the store. I expect y'all to give me a big thumbs up when you um, watch this video. <laughs> Just for the simple fact that I bought this thumbs up skeleton hand just for y'all all right bring you back <laughs> okay y'all all right so i'm back um let me tell you what i think happened today why this took so long i'm used to um i usually put my stuff in the crock pot i will put it in there for an, the first hour on high and then I'll cut it down to low. Well, because I had to go to the doctor today, the, eye, uh, the ear doctor or whatever, um, I wasn't able to do that. So it started off on low. And um, I think that because I was gone all day and it was on low, I just don't think that it cooked in the amount of time that I thought it was going to. I had put six hours on, I guess, because of the potatoes and everything that was in there, the apples, the cabbage, the um, the smoked sausage, all that. I guess it just didn't cook in the, you know, in that period of time. But it is done now. We're going to taste it. Well, I'm going to taste it. And I'm going to let y'all know what it tastes like. All right, so here is a piece of the potato. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I love those little potatoes. All right, so here's one of the smoked sausage. Okay. Mm. Those are turkey sausages. Let me try another one of these. Okay, y'all. I can't tell any difference. I really can't. They're just as good as the smoked sausages that, you know, the beef or the pork or whatever that I usually get. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so here, this is the cabbage and the apples. <clears throat> and that's pretty. Ooh, what did I put on there that was so hot? Um, I guess it was that pep, those peppers. Let's see. That's rosemary and garlic. I guess it was six peppers seasoning blend. Gosh, it's really spicy, and I've used this stuff before, and it hasn't been this spicy. Uh, okay, y'all. I do. Ugh. All right, I don't like that cabbage. Uh, I'll be the first one to tell you. Ugh. I love those. I want to taste this. This is one of those purple potatoes. I have never had one before. Are they supposed to taste different? Mm-mm-mm. That is so good. Mm. If I had just... Maybe green beans. Green beans, the little potatoes, and smoked sausage. But in that... <laughs> That's what I was going to do, and I thought that um, I usually always cook smoked sausage, potatoes, and cabbage. 
Well, this time I used a little bitty potatoes and I put the apples in there and I used this six pepper stuff. Tone six pepper. And it's just too hot. Mm. Now these aren't, the potatoes aren't, but that cabbage is. I don't even like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all might like it. But I don't. Mm. But I do like these. This turkey sausage, that is really good. My first time eating it. Mm. I'm trying to chew up, chew it up, y'all. <laughs> it's kind of hot. All right. I'm going to get off of here. But this is really, really good. Really good. I have to bring you back. I'm, um, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to... Um, my daughter wanted me to do a Zoom with her and a couple other people, so I was doing that, and I couldn't get back to, um, show you the rest of this. I mean, I did, I was getting ready to get off and whatever, but I went on and threw the plate away, and I've got this here for you to see. This is the pot, the, um... The crock pot or whatever of this the meal and that it did end up being a meal it was the smokes um, sausage the potatoes the cabbage and the apples and I really think that the apples like kind of like disintegrated <laughs> into the end with the um, cabbage but anyway y'all might like this cabbage the other stuff is amazing the smoked turkey i mean the um yeah the smoked turkey that and the potatoes are were unreal i just didn't like whatever happened to the cabbage i don't know whether it was the six well i know the six peppers what made it hot um spicy but i don't know what made it have the other taste and I, I just can't figure it out i i'm looking over here to see what um could have what that i put in there could have possibly have made that um taste and i i don't know i just know that i i love cabbage but i did not like this but y'all yeah, might so um i am <laughs> different than some people are and so anyway this is a um crock pot cal uh, collaboration and y'all know this i've told you the person is mama friendly who is desiree she hosted it. I'm not sure how many women's going to be on here, but the playlist will be below in my description box of the women, along with um, Mama Friendly's. Her um, link will be there, too. So, I do hope you had that you liked this video, and if you did, that you'll give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channels, um, which that, um, you know, you know that you've seen the subscribe button now on here so and also below there are links to my facebook my twitter and to my instagram and also there are links to things that different things that you can um purchase on amazon and if you do it does give me i'm an associate for them so i get a very very small amount i think it's anywhere from one percent to four percent off of anything that y'all may uh, purchase from them and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.